It was an up close view for over 100 people here looking at the site of the Keybridge collapse from the Patapsco River. This is a cruise fundraiser specifically for seafarers. A packed ship for the annual harbor cruise using the same channel the Dolly ship took the morning of March 26. It's a path that led right to the site of the collapse. Everybody's seen the video and you know you can um, you know you can see it up close on a camera but it's completely different when you're when you're this close to it yourself. Mike Singer was one of 150 people to sail on the Baltimore International Seafarer Center cruise. The event was to fundraise for the Seafarer Center who works to ensure the folks who literally move the economy on water are taken care of. And right now the Seafarer Center director Joshua Mezik says several ships are still stuck in the harbor. Uh, we have eight ships stuck right now, uh, including the Dolly. We have been offering transportation ashore for them. And we've gotten Wi-Fi hotspots on board. It's something that's never happened before. He says most of the money made tonight will go to their fleet of vans, which help provide transportation for the folks stuck on boats in the port. Typically, it's kind of a sleepy event, you know. Um, there's maybe enough people to, for, to fill up half the ship. And uh, so really cool that, you know, they had sold so many tickets. So many tickets, they had to get a bigger boat for the roughly 150 people attending. This year is unprecedented uh, in the number of people we have. Uh, and I, a big part of that is, is that it's an unprecedented situation. Um, there's a great deal of interest in what's happening in the Port of Baltimore right now. And if you would like to donate to the Seafarer Center, you can do so. We have their link over on WBALTV.com. Tori Yorgi, WBALTV 11 News.